and gentlemen, this is Doombreaker here and I'm going to show you today another tutorial on Visual Basic and this topic will be how to block a website using Visual Basic. So uh, why would you want to block a website? So uh, if you have children, you might not want them to access porn or go to gambling sites or go to Facebook. And you can do this all manually, but uh, I think once you wrote a program to do it, uh, it's a lot easier. Um, by the way, you are going to block the website on all browsers, so uh, not just Google Chrome specific or just Internet Explorer specific. You're just going to block it on all of uh, the web browsers. So uh, before we get started, I'm going to tell you a story about um, what I use this program for. So I used this for um, a girl at my school, uh, she had a blog and um, it's a really cool blog, I, I really like it, um, but three bullies at my school made fun of her because she had a blog and uh, I was like I have to do something about this because I really like that girl, uh, she was a really good friend of mine. Uh, she still is, by the way, so, uh, and what I did was I made a program before uh, to do homework, and uh, a lot of people used it, and they bought it for like one euro per copy, and I sold that program to about seven people from my class, um, and the bullies also came to me and asked me if they could buy the program for a euro and uh, I said uh, yeah sure but I'll have to update it and I'm going to give you the updated version so um, what I did is I implemented this piece of code in the load section so the bullies had a different version of the program which contained this piece of code and uh, what it basically did is uh, they blocked uh, the website on which the block was on so um, they weren't able to read the block anymore uh, they still don't know why which is pretty funny and uh, yeah so uh, they can't make fun of her anymore because they can't access the block anymore so um, Stories aside, let's start programming. So, um, as you can see here, we are going to start by importing a namespace called systems.io. Then we are going to declare two things, uh, a path as a string and sw as a stream writer. So, um, when we go to the button.click, so just double click the button. Uh, we can say path is equal to C drive Windows system 32 drivers etc host so this is the file you want to access um, I'm going to show you the file later on but um, this is just a path you need to remember then SW is equal to a new stream writer which is going to write to this path here and just put this on true um, then dim the site to block as a string so uh, the site to block is just what is going to be here so we just say this string is equal to environment dot new line because you need to uh, type it on a new line every time and this IP address, which is your local host, uh, don't forget this space here. Uh, and then just your textbox one.txt. You can also, um, if I just copy this, you can also just type in, um, you can just remove this and type www. Um, let's say Google. Be. So this will work uh, as well, but 
because we are making a website blocker here and the user is going to input their website here we are going to say uh, space here and textbox1.text also a little note uh, if the user types their website here it has to be like this so www.google.com and not http and all that shit so um, just type it like this also uh, if for to use my example of the story the blogger story I didn't put a button there I just put it in the form load section so if they loaded the program it would just execute this and uh, the website would be blocked so uh, once you declare the site to block you just say sw.write the site to block and sw.close and then you can show a message box saying site is blocked you can also don't show a message box but for a website blocker it's just uh, a little I don't know nicer <laughs> so if we debug this and we just say www.google.be we say block the site will be blocked also a note you have to restart your browsers in order to uh, block it but if we go to Google Chrome now and we go to google.be uh, it's just going to say this so um, this is in Dutch but all this is saying is uh, that the page is not found now to unblock it you will have to go to the path so just your C drive Windows system 32 drivers etc go to hosts and open it with notepad or I'm going to use notepad plus plus you see this all this shit and here is our new line so this is the line that we just wrote using the program so if we, ju if we just delete this and save it and go away now we should be able to go to Google again so um, this is pretty easy um, it has a lot of potential so if you want to block websites using Visual Basic this is how you need to do it and uh, I see you guys next time. Bye.